All right. So I think we're live. Okay. So hello if anyone's listening and hello to people listening later. I'm Dan May. I'm the uh, art director for, the, for these two Gaslight Empire games and also did some of the artwork. And with me is Philip DuBarry, who's the designer of Chief Inspector. Hey, and, how's it going? And also Garrett Herder, who is the designer of City of Outcast. Hello. And uh, we're going to teach each other the games, or Philip's going to teach us his game, or Garrett his game, because I have played it before, and uh, and then we're going to play through the game. So we're using Tabletopia. This is a digital um, tabletop game uh, system. So this is my screen that we're sharing here, and you can see this is Chief Inspector, and over the other side is City of Outcasts. So you'll be seeing the games from my point of view when we're playing, so you will be able to look over my shoulder and see the cards in my hand and that sort of stuff. All right. Okay, Philip, so you want to show us how to play this game? All right. Well, Chief Inspector, um, it's sort of uh, in the same, uh, some, some familiar faces if you've ever played Skyway Robbery. We have the, uh, the five villains from, or the five, you know, thieves from that game that were the players, but now your job is to go and arrest these people. And so you're the um, you're the junior detectives, and uh, you want to be promoted to chief inspector. So in order for that to happen, you've got to find the most notorious criminal. And the way that's going to work is we have uh, four different categories of attributes for each one of these people, and so we're going to go ahead and just randomly put a card out for each one of them in that category. So um, let's see, this one is, what's this one called, Dan? Uh, this one's priors. So this is their crimes that they've committed in the past. They've All got right, a record so for. Obviously, yeah, you want you want them to have done some really bad things so that it sort of counts for you. You want to get the, <laughs> the nobodies. All right, and then we got this one, which is, what's this one? Uh, this one's reputation. So this is their reputation on the street. This is what the other criminals say about them. How oh, big and bad they are. All right, and then this one is smarts. I remember that one. We've uh, changed a few of the names around, so that's why I don't. I sound like I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but, uh, nice. And yes. you'll notice there's, there's eight cards in each of these decks, but we're only using five of them, so you're not exactly sure. Um, which ones you're getting. Um, and then this one is, is this status, or what is this? Yep. This is status. So this is whether or not they're just an ordinary civilian or whether or not they could be an ambassador or they could even be like a secret agent. So, you know, you could accidentally arrest someone that's uh, an undercover agent. Yeah, you don't want to do that. Okay. All right. And um, these are our player cards down here, a little bit of a, um, a reference card. And so it kind of tells you a little bit what you're going to do on a turn. Um, you're in a minute. We'll we'll deal out some cards, and so you're going to play a card, um, or discard or how many cards, and then you're going to draw until you have three cards in your hand. So that's the standard hand size. Um, and you also have these little tokens here uh, for um, figuring out which criminal you want to try to arrest. So you got to have. Basically, you got to have three of them on there to initiate the arresting phase of the game. But once somebody has three on there, they get to arrest that person. And then it kind of goes around whoever uh, has the next most or is the next in line. They get to choose who they're going to arrest, and then everybody just kind of chooses from then on. And then at the end of the game, we're going to flip over all the cards and add up the value on each one, and that's what you're your person's worth. And so whoever has the most notorious criminal is the winner. However, we also have these, uh, these uh, corruption tokens over here on the side. And those have various values on them, uh, I think maybe from 1 to 5, something like that. Um, and so certain actions that you play out of your hand, you have to take one of those tiles. And um, so then, it, and also a couple of these attribute uh, cards have some of those on there as well, extra. So after you flip over all the cards, you may have to take even another one. And then you flip all those over, and whoever has the most corruption, even if you maybe had the best criminal, you can't win. 
So that's uh, kind of good. I was going to say, those sound bad, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. So if you have the most of those, you can't win the game. You just lose. Okay. Um, but otherwise, you want to try to, to do what you can. All right, so um, there's really no way to deal here. So I guess everybody just has to take three cards off the deck. Is that how yeah. we're going to do it? Yeah. Sounds good. And just to let people know, this, these numbers here, that's the distribution of numbers in each of the different sets. So these are the possible um, numbers that can add up to how notorious the particular criminal is. So the higher the number, the, um, the worse the criminal is. So did uh, you guys get your card to uh, yeah, Greg, you just card. I'm going to draw three of these from here. Okay. Great. All right, and so now some of the, so some of the cards that they have that little um, that little corruption token on them, and you play them in that way, then you have to take one of those corruption tiles. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, then you don't have to do it. So then there's uh, is looking at the uh, card for a certain just thing, drop or, for a second then. or evidence, or moving evidence around, or something like that. Yeah. All right. So maybe I've got it in my hand, so everyone will be able to see those. So maybe I can describe them with the cards I've got in my hand. Yep. Okay. So investigate. So there's cards that have investigate, and they might say a specific uh, suspect, or they could, um, you know, it could be anyone. So I've got a card in my hand that says to investigate a certain suspect. So that means that I can look at any of the cards that are in his column. That's right, isn't it, Philip? That's correct. Yep. Um, and, so, and you're looking at them secretly, so you got to pull that into your hand and flip it over, then flip it back over and put it back down. I think that's how you do it in this. Thing. Yeah, in Tabletopia. Yeah. Um, another major card is file evidence against any suspect. So that's where you can take one of your evidence tokens like this and you just place it above that particular uh, oh, okay. suspect. And that, that's like a vote that you're going to be getting that, be arresting that subject at the end of the game. Yeah. All right, who's going to go first? Okay. Um, why don't you go first, Philip? All right, I'll go first. All right, so let's see. What are we doing? A discard pile at the top there, I guess? Uh, yep. All right, well, I'm going to play this card here. So I'm going to do the top part, which is investigate uh, Britannia. So I'm going to look at this top card. So I'm going to pull that into my area here, and then I'm going to flip it over and put it back. OK, and then I'm going to draw a card because I need three cards. OK, now it's who's next? Um, I think that'd be me. What is it? Okay, yeah. That'd be yep. kind of clockwise, yeah. All right, I'll play Investigate Donor, and I'm going to investigate his status. So I'll pull that into my hand. All right, so everyone can see what Donor's got. All right, so I've got to flip it back, put it back down. This could really reveal how bad my memory is to everyone. I'm yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm going to draw another card into my hand, and now it's your go, Garrett. Okay. Um, so if I play Investigate Reputation, I can look at any of these here. Yep. Yes. Right. Okay. Okay, so I should flip that over in my hand first. Okay, put it back, and then draw a new card. Right? That's it. Okay. All right, back to me. All right, I am going to play this card, and so we draw three inspector cards from the deck. So that will give me more cards in my hand. But I won't draw any more cards because you can only do that if you have fewer than three cards. So that means my turn is over. Okay. All right, I'm going to investigate any clue card. I'm going to investigate Giles' smart 
Let's Okay. Oops. Better flip it before I put it back. Keyboard's decided it's not going to work. All right. <laughs> okay. okay. All right. Sorry, yep. Okay. So this one that says um, take a random inspector card from an opponent's hand and play a card. Yep. So if I took a card from Philip, how do I have yeah. that? Just say one, two, or three, I guess, and give it time. Uh, four or five. Yeah, I get six. Cards. Get. No, okay. I have five or six cards. Give me your... Um, your first card there. Okay. Well, play it. I guess it'll be play it, right? There it is. It's on the side there. Um, so investigate priors. So you just you just take that card, right? Yeah, he's meant that he's meant to just take it into his hand and then But you can play, play a card. It. You can play that card if you want so to, or play you can play it. any card. Oh, play a card. So it doesn't have yeah. to be that card. It could be any no. card. Uh, okay. Well, I'm going to play that card. Okay. Um, so I might as well look at this. Now, did you okay. get a, 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 a corruption token? Um, I don't, so a corruption will actually have, oh, you mean from this card that I played? That's what that little thing down there means? I have to yeah. take one of those? Yes. Uh, okay. Okay. I did not, but I, let me make sure I flip this back. There. That's bad. So yeah, what do so I just put that If you don't look at it, yeah, just put it next to your uh, player board there. I can't look at it at all. Well, yeah. brother. Then I draw another well, card. I, you're you're allowed to look at it, aren't you? But you can you can't do it without revealing it. Is that? Uh, okay. I didn't think you you looked at it until the end. But you're the designer, so. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, so I, I think you're supposed to have sort of an idea of how close you're running it. Okay. Well, you know, I looked at it. <laughs> yeah. well, that's cool. I think you should look at it. <laughs> so does that mean it's my turn? Yeah. Yes. Okay. All right, I'm going to play this. This is investigate two clue cards. So I'm going to, I'm going to look at this one. And I'm going to look at this one. Okay, let me uh, straighten that out a little bit. Got it. Okay. All right. Um, I'm going to investigate Giles again. And I'm going to investigate his priors. What are these, the numbers kind of range from? You can look at your reference card down there. Oh, that's right. Okay, so that's what that means. So they, and you can see how some of them are a little bit different of a dis, uh, distribution. Okay. Wow, minus twenty. All right. Yeah, I think that's the undercover agent. You don't want to get him, or her. Mm -hmm. Is it is it my turn yet? Uh, yes. Already yeah. okay. Um, I'm gonna play. Oh, that's got a corruption token on it. Ah. <laughs> yeah. And if you do the the bottom or you know whichever one that doesn't have it, that's fine. But. I'm gonna do it anyways. Okay. Investigate uh, three clue cards, and I gotta get one of these for doing that. Mm. 
Well, I'm going to peek at it because. Yeah. If we're tied on corruption at the end, is more than one person eliminated, or, or is no one eliminated? Um, yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure we actually have that rule in there yet. I was looking over the rules again before we were playing. There is a, a tiebreaker for if you have the same amount of, uh, you know, your criminals are the same strength. But, um, but yeah, I would say that. I'd say maybe you're both eliminated. Yeah, that would be my assumption with it. If you're happy to add that to, as a rule, then yeah, I'd, we can add that in. In a two-player game, you would just have to say then ignore them. But otherwise, it would be really weird if you had a three-way tie on that. But, I mean... All right, I'm good. Okay, yeah, I'm going to play this. <clears throat> this is draw three of these cards again, so that's what I'm going to do. Okie doke. I'm done. Mm. Alright, I'm going to investigate any clue card. And I'm going to investigate this card here, Rawa's Smarts. And that's me. All right, I'm going to um, do the same thing, investigate any clue card. I'll look at this one here. Ah, okay. Um, that ah was not because of the card. It was because I <laughs> another window pop-up. Um, I guess I could always pretend, oh... Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's maybe part of it. All right, All right. I'm going to um, I'm going to file some evidence now. I'm going to be let's see which I'm going to be this yellowish one, the uh, M1. Is that okay? Yep. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Now I got to scoot myself back up here. Are, you, are we out of our cards? Are we reshuffling? Is that what you do? You reshuffle the deck when you're yes. through? Okay. Yeah, I'm just doing that now. So you just put a token on her. Yeah. One of these, let me just make sure I know. If one of these people have three... That's like if I can get three uh, on her, then that means I'll arrest her, and then you guys will have to pick uh, some of the other ones to arrest. So it has to be three of your own, right? Or if somebody else else. gets three on somebody else, then everybody, then and like if I only had two, and you had one, I would go next, then you would go. Or if we both had two, whoever was next in line would go. So you've got to commit to. Someone's got to commit to a suspect three tiles. And whenever somebody does get three on somebody, then that triggers the end of the game. Yep. Okay. That doesn't really matter about everybody else's, except for if you have a little bit more than somebody else. Okay. So that was my go? Did you already go? What did you do? No, uh, did you go yet? Yeah, no, I haven't okay. gone yet. I put some so evidence on. That's all I did. All right. I'll just move these tokens down so we can put the discard pile right next to it. There we go. All right, so I'm going to file evidence on Giles. So I'm bluish. Huh, okay. All right, and I'm going to draw a card, and that's my turn. Well, I've got to um, return a corruption token before I'm in trouble here. So that's going to go back <laughs> there. Take yeah, of course, if you can look at them, that's, that makes that more valuable, too. And you obviously want to get rid of it. Yeah. Yeah. So I am done. All right. All right, let's see. I will... Um, I'm going to... Actually, I'm going to... Um, I'm going to file some evidence on Giles as well. Hmm. 
can do it. So it would be possible then, Philip, is it that you can't like what if no one files three on the one on one person? Or is it just anyone files? Well, eventually somebody will. I mean that's you know, I, I mean Oh, because we can move to... those evidence we can move those evidence tokens right. around, can we, with cards. Right. Yep. So we have right. four evidence tiles, is that it? Yes, I believe that's correct. I see a little four popping up. Okay. Yeah, it's my go again, is it? Ah, uh, yes. Cool. All right, I'm going to file evidence on Giles again. And that's my turn. Now, if it says investigate and then a person's name, is that any card in there? Yes. Is that what that, is that, what that means? Yes. Okay. Um, I guess I will. Well, you guys are really going for that one spot there, aren't you? I'm going to. Oh, brother. Okay. Um. If I can remember right, see, it's probably a really bad idea to do this. <laughs> um, switch two clue cards. Oh yeah, here we go. Um, I'm going to blow up this card. Um, yeah, I've got to draw a corruption token to do it. So let's move. Let's let's shuffle these around a little bit here, <laughs> yeah. and then I'll pick this one. Um, but I'm going to switch. Does it have to be the same kind? Yes. Like if yes. I switch this one, I'm going to have to switch it with this one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. And then I'll draw a card. But I've got to look at this token <laughs> in the meantime. Uh, All right, I'm going to play this... Uh, Move evidence tile, so I'm going to move this over to here. Ah. Draw a card. Okay. Back to you, Dan. Yeah, okay. So if Garrett doesn't have evidence filed on anyone and I end the game, what happens? He just gets to pick. Okay. And I'll be very angry. <laughs> <laughs> um, you don't want to do that. <laughs> also, he's I think the most corrupt. <laughs> well, we'll see. Yeah. yeah, I'm the only one with to I'm, I'm the only one with tokens, I think. So there are some tokens hidden on the uh, cards too, so Yeah. Good point. I can't remember if I saw one of those or not. I mean, if you turn no. one over and see it with a token, you have to draw a token. You have to No, draw no, it. no. It's only at the end no. of the game. Oh, at the if end. That, oh, okay. That's the person you arrest, the, and it has one okay. on there. You get an extra one. I see. Oh, and that's good. Be good could be a big one. Gee. Oh, okay. Mm. All right. Well, I'm going to investigate. Oops. Play two cards at once. I'm going to investigate any clue card, and I'm going to investigate the reputation of Britannia. And that's my turn. All right. Well, I'm going to return a corruption token right away. And I'm done. All right. So I'm going to investigate or add evidence to any suspect, and that's going to be on Britannia. Okay, so you're going for it. That's right. All right, and then so um, so Dan, you get to pick next. Um, I think it, it. I think we said it doesn't automatically 
have to be Giles if you don't want to pick that one. But um, I do get, like it to pick next. Yeah. Okay. He can just pick anybody because he's got the most out there. Is that how that? What does that mean now? What do you? We, that's one of those things we. Uh, let me peek over at my rules real quick and make sure that's right. Yeah, I played to... the iteration I think before this one, so I can't remember. Um... I think when we played it. Okay. Yeah. No, I think it is. I think you do. You are stuck with Giles. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, I think so. That sort of makes sense, anyway. Don't know if there's a tie. Right. So right. what about me? I don't have anything out here. Does that mean I'm out or? No, no, no. So go ahead and, and get one of your own instincts and just put put one on one of the three remaining ones, and we'll know that one's yours. Um. So if I went, oh brother, here. Right. That could be your That's person. It. Okay. All right. So now we're going well, to reveal. So we're going to start with kind of, turn, right? Is it kind of fun to go with the person in the in the lead to reveal first? Is that right? Yeah, that's what we're going to do. All right, so she stealing a loaf of bread. Which maybe he's not the best. Low life. Uh oh, that's not good. Mastermind smarts about a corruption token and Jeez. citizen. So that's twenty five really points citizen. and. I'm taking one of these corruption tokens. I'll just All set right. that over here. So All right. Reveal Giles next. Yes. Okay. Whoops. That's not what I wanted to do. All um, right. So he's got a, a token. For salt and a token, like which at this like point that. probably doesn't matter <laughs> what it is. Um, his reputation. He's a punk. He's gifted, mm -hmm. and he's a citizen. Oh, right, so an 11. Got, okay. Carrying the lead. 36 points. All right. All right. So, uh -oh. <laughs> minus 10. Good start here. So, at 5. And you get another token. <laughs> I'm hot. Oh, let's take this one, I guess. Uh, Sharp. Oh, she's in great. a big <laughs> Great. More <laughs> laser. <laughs> I guess I should have looked at that card. All right, let's oh. see. Uh, let's see about who's the most corrupt. All right, so I'm winning unless I'm the most corrupt. Yeah. Correct. I have one. Oh, brother. Okay, I'll right, flip him over, Garrett. Let's see what you got. Alright, I got a zero. Uh-oh. Two, all right. Well, this is not uh, there's threes and fours. Got, there, yeah. so. <laughs> ah, no. Oh yeah. <laughs> that means, all that right. So I am the winner. I the forgot that you actually had good. this corruption <laughs> thing on it. <laughs> I did look at that card no, too, and I just forgot. I, hey, I'm really glad I backed this game. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. Cool. My kids will love it too. <laughs> yeah, they will. Yeah, my kids enjoy it as well. I that bet. Awesome. I bet the memory aspect is a big hit for them. I know for my kids, when there's like a memory type of aspect, um, that's a big, very exciting for them. But the re the re reveal at the end is. Is a highlight. Now sometimes we also we also flip over the other cards just to see if uh, one of those oh, was yeah. maybe better. Let's check it out. This was not. All right, so we did pretty well finding the good ones. So this was the best here for sure, yes. right? He was the master criminal, but he corrupted me, paid me off, so that I <laughs> didn't end up arresting him pretty much. Okay. Point. All right. <laughs> So now that I've got a little bit more of a grasp on it, I think I would do better next time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, great. All right, so we're ready to move over to the, uh, the next one. Sure. I mean, maybe she's an undercover agent that's really a double agent. I don't... <laughs> <laughs> All 
Great. All Thanks, right. Philip. That's great. great. That was fun. Take these in. Okay. Um, now, these, oh, wait, now, these cards I have in my hand here, I guess. I'll just have to dump those somewhere. The beauty of Tabletopia is that when you leave the room, it packs it all up for you and sets it up for next time. So we can just leave <laughs> all that sitting there in a mess. Okay. All right, so we won't need these cubes for this game because these are for the expansion, which is the district's expansion, which which is this bit over here, which we're going to just play the straight game this time. So we won't need those. Right. Right. Um, but we'll might as well stain our player colour so we remember. I'll be blue. Okay. You want me to head and yeah, let's learn the City of Outcasts. Yep. So City of Outcasts plays two to four players, about ten minutes. Um, probably a little longer on Tabletopia as we're getting used to everything, but um, but uh, it's uh, where uh, there's a, a city in the Gaslight Empire that's on the outskirts of the Empire. That is, uh, since it's on the outskirts, it's become very corrupt. So um, the there are individuals that have kind of taken over power of the city. They're the corrupt individuals. But we're coming in uh, each. It's a competitive game. So you're coming in each trying to influence those who have control of the city to join you kind of for your own your own kind of gang in a way to take over the city yourself, to have the most influential people on your side. Um, so uh, it's a micro game uh, in this universe. So there are only 13 cards um, in the main ally deck, and then there's one uh, Eyes of the People card. Um, I mean, ultimately, <laughs> at least when I play, I'm trying to influence these individuals so I can help the people of the city and turn the city around. Yeah. But if you have your own intentions to um, influence them for your own gain, that's, that's up to you. Yeah. So um, what we'll do at the beginning is we would uh, deal one card to each player face up just to see who's the start player. And while I do this, I can just point out a couple things about the cards. Um, and the top left corner is the influential number. So as I said, there's 13 cards in the deck, and they're numbered 1 through 13. And we would just do this to see who would be the start player. And the start player, we get the Eyes of the People card. So if this was blue here, then, then Dan, um, I'm not sure how to... Would you be sitting over here? Oh, I'm over this way. I need the blue cubes here. Yep. So, so I won that, did I, or...? Yeah, so you've got the highest influence just to see who the start player is at the beginning of the game. Yeah, cool. The way so the it. start player would have the eyes of the people card. Um, so whenever a round ends, um, whenever someone gets takes the card for points, um, you get the attention of the of the people, and you're going to get that card. So you'll start. You'll be the start player for the for the first round, and when, as this card bounces around, um, it's kind of like the start player token for the round. Um, but at the end of the game, if you have it it's also worth a point. Uh, so it's good to have, especially in the last round. Uh, and it also breaks ties if someone's tied for, for first place. So these would go back to the deck. Yeah. Did you um, want to show the influence Yeah, let me show you a couple of things. So um, there's the influence number in the top left corner, which is 1 through 13. Then there's an ability on the card, and then there's the point value. So the cards are kind of used for two uses. One, to, to be used to influence a card. So if this person was up for influence, we would use this card. You, you would look at the influence number, and whoever plays the highest number will gain them for the points, which will go to your score pile face up. Um, whenever a card's revealed, it has a, an ability, and there's a choice in the ability. You have to do it at the time of, of, of revealing the card. And you'll catch that as we go through the very first first round of the game. Cool. Um, so we would need to get these back yep. in the deck here. I'm not sure. Yep. Is it just pop okay, it. Pops yep. it. If I wanted to shuffle this, is there yep. a way to... Sh where's the yep. shuffle? Just right, right, right click and then the little bit of arrows going over each other like that. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 That's cool. 
I just did it, but if for oh, the future, oh, you just right-click it. Then, uh, okay, yeah. all right, cool. Um, so I guess uh, what we would do at the beginning of the game, you would, you'd be the dealer because you have the eyes of the people card. You would give us each one card, but I guess we can just take our yeah. own card to start. Yeah, so we all take a card. It's easier. This only happens at the beginning of the game where you take a card. And then the dealer, Dan, you would put out on the table as many cards as there's players in the game plus one. Yep. Face up. Those would go face up. Yep. Cool. I'll flip those in a second. And I always like to kind of organize it so the influence numbers are kind of easy. Mm -hmm. Three, four, seven, twelve. Now starting with, it's kind of good to see what cards are on the table. Um, and, and once you you go through a couple rounds, you start to kind of gain what, understand what the abilities do, because that's yeah. where the strategy yeah. comes in. Um, so the start player, which would be Dan, he's going to take one of these cards and add, add it to his hand, and that'll continue around clockwise until there's only one card remaining. That card remaining, whatever it is, is the person we're, we're impeding to influence uh, to come to our side for the points. Okay. Yeah, I can um, remember the depth of this game now from the abilities. I'm trying to remember them <laughs> frantically. Yeah, right. <laughs> um, these some cards, some cards are I, like we, you've got two con men. The lower numbers, like the two and the three, and the four and the five, and the six and the seven. There's two of each of those abilities, but the rest of them are are individual. But you'll catch on as we as we go through. So, Dan, if you want to pick a card yeah. for your All right, hand, I'm going to take that one. The overseer. Yeah. And then I'm going to take um, the emissary. All right, I'll take the spy. Okay, so the con man is the one that's up for. Well, if we should, can we grab mm -hmm. this pole? Should we move this deck over? How do you take the whole deck and? Which way do you want it? Yeah, you just click on it until it gets highlighted, and then you can move it. Oh, okay. All right. Cool. So um, now we're each going to pick one of the cards from our hand, one of the two, and we're going to play it face down in front of us. And that's the card that you're going to, to use for the influence number and the ability yeah. to try to gain him. Cool. And I remember so, now, too, well, turn order makes a big difference, so that the fact that you're going to be first. Yeah. Influence. So you're, say at what again. point does the ability happen? At the time you flip it over. So we're each going to pick a card and place it face down, and then starting with the with Dan as the star player, he's going to flip his card over, and his ability takes effect. His ability, it depends on the ability. But if there's a choice in the ability, like it says, you may do something, it has to be done um, at the time of flipping the card. Okay. So I guess I'll put mine over. So here. where are you? Well, you're the, if you're green, why don't you go over here near the green token? Oh, I see. I got it. Okay. That makes sense. All right. Oops, sorry. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> All right, so everyone's there. So I guess right, so so up up I'll just put my little token over here so you know that's where mine are. Yeah. All right. So kind of clockwise around the table will be blue, yep. yellow, yep. green. Okay. Sounds good. All right, cool. All right so, so I reveal process. mine. Yep. All right, so I have the overseer. So if I win, so if I've got the highest influence, then uh, instead of taking the center card, which is the con man, I'll take the overseer. Yeah, he's only worth the, the, the points are one to three. He's only worth one, but he's the second highest influence. So, All right. yeah. so then it goes around to Philip. Okay, so now I'm flipping my He'll flip your card over. All right, yep. so now you can trade. Now you're losing right now. He's got a higher influence, but you right. may trade this card with one of another player's hand and play it as your own. So you can swap that with any one of us with our hand. So, but there's really no way to uh, to beat twelve, right? Well, here's a thirteen. So someone oh, might have a thirteen in their a... hand, or they might have a gang a gang leader, which would eliminate a higher number. Okay, I'm sure. Um, right. right now, we don't know what anybody has in their other. All right. Well, I think I probably want to do that then, right? So. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, well, the, good thing one about the, the thematic thing about the spy is when you swap it now, you know that they have that in their hand. So, okay. Cool. Yes. All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna trade this with uh, you, Garrett. Okay. So. so 
we got to make sure, yeah, that'll go to my hand, and this will go, this goes to you like that, and this will come to my hand. Okay. Now, when a card comes out, if it's got an ability again, that will take effect. And yours is the Patriarch, okay. which is only, that's because normally when you win a card and influence it, you get the Eyes of the People card. But because you have the Patriarch, you can choose who gets that instead of and the person. And then do I choose at the end of the round? At the end of the round, yep. Okay. At the end All of right. the round. Because it's kind of helpful to go last. Okay. Um, and then if it's the last round of the game, it's definitely good to take it if you sure. it's worth the point. But, all right, so now it's my turn. Flip mine over. And I have the Emissary. Um, I can trade this card with the top card of the deck or name an unrevealed influence number to be discarded if revealed. Now, no one else has any cards to reveal, so that second option is out. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, but I can trade this card, top card of the deck, which makes sense for me to do. And it's the gang leader. <laughs> you know, I can choose. I can discard any revealed card with a greater influence. So basically, I'm choosing who's going to win. I'm going to actually. I, mean, I could take this away. If I in, it discarded his, then you're going to win with the ten. And get two but I'd rather have him, yeah, I'd rather have him go, so I'm going to discard yours. Okay. Because he's going to win and only get one point. Sure. All right, okay. so, I, so I win, so I get to take the Overseer onto my recruit the Overseer. Yep. And the Patriarch's been out, so you don't get the ability to choose who goes. Oh, um, uh, yeah. Who gets the eyes of the people. So Dan, with the points, they, you can kind of set them like this. He gets the eyes of the people. Okay. And then this would go back here. Yeah. You don't need to flip it when you put them in the deck. They just automatically... Oh, okay. Oh, good. Flip. You just go, as long as you hover over it and get that orange highlight, it'll just... Ah, cool. You know, All right, awesome. So, so again, Dan good. will shuffle the deck, and then he'll put out four cards again. And we keep doing that until there's not enough cards in the deck to put that many cards out. So right now, well, there's five cards in the deck, so we know there's going to be five more rounds after this one. Now, at what point do we do we get another card in our hand, too? No, well, right now, we're each going to go around and, and draw a card. Oh, we're getting it right now. Got it. Right. So we'll Got have it. a card in our hand from last time. Yeah. All right, cool. Yep. And I go first still, because I've got the eyes of the people. Oh, man. I'm going to take that. Okay. I know what you... I'm going to oh, wait. So that's Philip text. Yep. Right, I'll take the that's game here. Probably not a great move. I'll take the emissary. All right. So the patriarch is up for influence. So we'll all yeah. pick a card again and place it face down in front of us. And again, Dan's going to go first. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go last. Yep. I think I made a strategic error. We shall see. All right. You're ready. Dan will reveal. Kingpin, not mucking around. All right. Okay. All right. So he's the highest number, but if the number was revealed. <laughs> yeah, but there is also the members that yeah, can take out yeah. the kingpin, isn't there? Yeah. Uh, but Philip's next. Oh, is that here? Okay. Ta -da. Uh, so you're going to use the gang leader's ability to eliminate the kingpin. Right, okay, so you're out. Okay. Yep. And I've got the spy, and I'm going to swap it with Philip's. Okay, so this and, is the card in my hand? Yep. So you'll take this one to your hand wherever you are. All right. <laughs> and then, all right. So then the other one is face up in front of you, like yep. this. Yep. So I have the con man. I could trade. Now I could trade this card with a card in my hand or one I already recruited. I haven't recruited anybody. Um, I'm gonna go ahead. Uh, I could. Um, I'm gonna just. Just let it go. I'm gonna let it, I'm gonna keep the card in my hand. So that means you will win the patriarch. 
Yep. All right. Good deal. So now this this one goes away, right? Or yep. Yep. And then you'll take the eyes of the people card. All right. Yeah, you've just recruited the patriarchs of the people. You've got the attention of the city, the people. Okay, great. And now you'll shuffle the deck, and then you'll deal out four more on the table. And we flip them? Yep. yep. Well, yep. I'm picking first. Yes. All right. Um, hmm. Okay. I'll take that one. So you're next, I think, Kara. Yeah. Oh yes, sorry. Um, I'm going to take. Uh, take the spy. And I'm last this turn, aren't I? So I guess I'll take a command. All right. So we're. Looking to influence uh, Kip Thorne here. I like your names. Yeah, I'm excited to learn who these people are. <laughs> Oops, I go over here. So, right, so yes. Okay, so it's just a flat nine. I don't get to do anything. There's no one. There's no one revealed yet to eliminate. So. Right. And I'm a six, but I'm gonna trade that with the top card of the deck here. Hmm. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. I knew that was in there. <laughs> Oops. All right. Meanwhile, I send out a con man. I may trade this card with a card in your hand or one you already recruited. And so the con man is just a elaborate ruse for the ah, vigilante. Ah, <laughs> okay. Nice. <laughs> Nicely done. All right. So the vigilante wins. Okay. Well played. All right. So you. Then you'll take the emissary of points, and you'll take the eyes of the people, and you are the dealer. Now, when you had to put that, you traded with the top card in the deck, does that uh, card you put in go on the top of the deck then? Yes, so you'll know what that is, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Huh. Hmm. <laughs> so there's three cards left in the deck, so there's three rounds after this. Hmm. I'll try this one. All right. So Phillips next. Yeah, I'll take this one. Okay. Um, there we go. All right. Let me, this guy. Let, me just, let me just check this guy. All Dan, you're up. 
Um, you can I, throw a big card. You've already. Yeah, I could do this guy, but if I do that and I win, I'll just win him back anyway. Right, yeah. but if you don't win, but, let but do me I throw get, that out. The con man's worth two points, and he's only yeah. worth one. And the con man gets to go into my recruited zone, yeah? Yep. Yep. Yeah, that's I, was, I thought that was the case. It all seemed pretty cool, so... Yep. So, Philip. Oh, sorry. I was busy watching Dan. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, let's see. So, I can trade with... Somebody. All right. So, I'm going to trade with... Um, <laughs> well, I don't want... Yeah, yeah, remember what we have. <laughs> yeah, all right, I guess I'll trade with you. With who? With me? Yeah. Well, here you go. <laughs> yeah. Another spy. So you could use him again to trade with Dan. Oh, is it the same thing? Mm. Yep. Oh, okay. All right, yeah, I guess I'll do it then. All right. Okay, mercenary. Yeah. Which right. means, which means that you that, can it'll be lower yeah, trade with this card with the center card. Yeah, so see this is going. Now the gang leader will, you can eliminate the overseer. Oh, man. I didn't even realize about that either. Okay, we'll do that. A little bit of a domino effect. And I'm glad that I picked mm. the 8 and not the 9, because if I would have picked the 9, oh. <laughs> I can eliminate you Very good. and take it. Yeah, I get my first point. That's good. That's a lot of work. One <laughs> I don't point. Feel bad for doing that. <laughs> oh, it's over here. But I keep wanting to put it back in the window here. Or my screen angle. All right, so I get the eyes of the people. And uh, I shuffle up again. <laughs> Four cards. Okay. Okay. And I'm going to pick first, which means I'm going to reveal first. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. Okay. Yep, so my go? Yes. Oh, I've got to pick one, don't I? Um, yeah, I'll take that one. Okay. All right, uh, so yeah. I'm going to flip the spy, mm -hmm. and I'm going to trade it with Philip. So the card in my hand. Yeah, just play it, play it out. Okay. Um, dear, um, I'm going to do the second ability and call out. No, I got one here. Um, I think it was eight or nine. I'm going to say the eight. If the eight is flipped, it's eliminated. Okay. It's not the eight. Uh, it's the five. It's the spy. <laughs> and I will be trading that with you, Garrett. 
Yeah, I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, there you go. Yeah. All right. Oh. That was the nine. I couldn't remember the eight or nine, but. <laughs> All right, so that gets me. Yeah. 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 So that means I take. So you yep. knew it was a gang leader, but you couldn't remember if it was the eight or nine. I couldn't remember. I yeah, I should have remembered, but I yeah. All right. All right. All right. So Philip deals it out. Okay. All right. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. Mm. So let me choose first. And you're first, Philip, yeah? Yeah. Okay. So the gang leader is up to recruiting. <laughs> I will okay. trade. With, I'll trade with Dan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this could get good, actually. Oh, wow. Okay. This could be good. Well, I'm going to trade with Philip. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Thank you. Oh, no. <laughs> That's what I was going to do. Here right, my go. So you guys, oh, now I've got to trim it. I think it's pretty much it. The vigilante's out, unless I can get rid of the vigilante, which I don't think I can. Or when you've already recruited. Yeah. Do these guys may trade? Let me trade with the card in the top deck. It's not going to do anything for me. Let me trade this card with the card in your hand or wherever you're included. Trade them and play as your own. Yeah, that's not going to do it for me. I think that's it. I think the con man's been conned. Yep. Okay. That's it. I will take him. Oops. No, I don't want to stack it. Uh, it's a ah. back. I'm having troubles. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There. There, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, let's move them. Yeah. Oh, boy. Okay. Yeah. Four points. No. All right, last round. All the cards come out. Now, what happens if you trade with the top of the deck now and just nothing happens? Um, why is this? We need to flip this. This way. Okay. No, uh, no. Say that again. What happens if there's no card you... to trade? You can't. You can't do it. You can't. There's nothing to trade with, so there's no yeah. trading. Yeah. Okay, so the score is four to two to four right now, and whoever wins this round will get the eyes of the people for good too. Three seven one. Okay. Uh, I think I'm gonna take this one. Oh man, this is risky now. Jeez. Oh. Oh, uh, all right. 
Okay. okay, I'm going to flip the emissary, and I'm going to say the 13. If the 13 comes out, he's eliminated. Okay. All right. I avoided that one. Um, <laughs> okay, so this is it. I've got to try and, if my memory was good, I'm pretty sure I would know where this was, I reckon. But, um, I will trade with Philip. Was the one in my hand, right? Yep. Yep. Oops, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> That's no good. <laughs> All right, Philip. All right. Let's okay. See. Let's buy. All right. Um. <laughs> I'm gonna, man. I'm gonna trade with. I'm gonna trade with. Oh wait. Um, does Dan have that spy? Is that where that? No, you have the spy. That's yours. That's the one I oh, traded with you for the vigilante. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I can't yeah. remember. <laughs> All right, Dan. I'm just gonna trade with you because I can't remember. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was not the right one. No, it's yes. not the right one. <laughs> Oh man! Because he'd um, named wow. the main as the uh, yeah, I, eliminate the I eliminate the thirteen in six speeds one, it. so I went. Yeah. If I got. It. If you would have traded with me, I would have had the gang yeah, leader. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's the one. Okay. Yeah. Would that have done it? Yeah. Yeah, I would have done it. Yeah, okay, because I would have done it. Yeah. Because yeah, the MS renamed thirteen. Yeah. That's. Uh, yeah. You would have gotten that in that and that have been three points. Three, I would have given you five, which was more and more than Dan. And I would have been Came down to that last choice, yeah. Oh, man. And I did take that, so <laughs> you, yeah, it was brain. knowledge yeah. that was there. Yeah. Well, that's cool. All righty. Awesome. awesome. That was fun. Yeah. All right, guys. Thanks for that, and thanks anyone that's watching. I haven't checked if anyone's watching the stream, but thanks for watching if you did. And um, yeah, and if you're watching this on the Kickstarter page, um, then thanks for watching all the way through, and thanks for supporting the campaign. Is there anything you guys wanted to say in closing before I shut it up? Just thanks. Appreciate it. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks for all the supporters so far, and yeah, this has been a lot of fun. All right. Cheers, guys. Catch you later. Okay. See ya.